Hey guys, how's it going? Today, in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to make a 3D print of your pet. So, let's get started. So this tutorial will be for any pet, whether it's a gecko, a cat, a dog, whatever it is, this will work for whatever kind of pet you have. So let's get started and dive into this tutorial. All right guys, so first what we need is a picture of your pet. So if you have a picture that you want to use and turn into a 3D print, then upload it to your computer now. And if you don't, then go take one. But just so I can show you for example sake, I'm going to be using a picture from the internet and I found this good boy right here and I'm going to be using this image so I'm going to just save this image and show you guys an example with this picture right here so again this can be a cat a dog a lizard whatever and next what we are going to do is go over to maker world and Maker World is an awesome website that has a ton of free STL files and 3MF files for you to download and print on your printer. But we're not interested in any of that. What we're going to do is go over to Maker Lab. And what this is, is a free AI modeling tools. And they have a ton of different ones from print yourself to canvases to Christmas ornament makers to image of 3D models, which is actually the model we are going to be using today. So we're going to go ahead and click on that or you'll find it in the top up here. If you go over and it'll be this next gen image to 3D right here. So then what we're going to do is we're going to drag and drop our picture of our dog or cat or whatever pet we want to make a print of to this model maker. And then we're going to click which model we want. So we're doing a pet. So it's going to, so we have to make a decision. Do we want exceptional details and high fidelity with this model, fast generation and consistent results with this model, or smooth surfaces and well defined geometry, 3D print friendly with this model? So I'd say if you want a super high detailed model of your dog, then choose this one. If you don't care that much about detail, then choose this one. And if you want the best of both worlds, then choose this one. And again, this one will be easily 3D printable as it says in the description. So we're gonna go ahead and click this one since it's the middle ground and hit generate. And now what this is going to do is make a model of our image that we just uploaded to this AI tool. And once it's done generating, we'll touch back base and I'll show you guys the model that it generated. Hey guys, real quick, if you're watching this video, you probably do a decent amount of 3D printing. If that's you, I definitely recommend heading over to coax3d.com slash Austin's lab. It's made right here in the USA, prints clean and stays consistent spool after spool. They also have a 100% satisfaction guarantee. So if you're unhappy with your filament, you can return it for a refund or get a different spool. So again, head over to coax3d.com slash Austin's lab and use Austin's lab at checkout for 10% off. But now back to the video. All right, guys, this model just finished generating and here it is. This is the complete colored version. If you have a printer with 12 different colors, this is what you could get. This is the 3MF version. So if you only have four colors, this is what you could get. And then here is the normal STL, what it will look like. So I think it did a pretty good job in making a pretty good replica of, oh, not that picture of the picture that we gave it. So again, here is the picture that we gave it right here. And here is the model that it gave us of the dog. So whatever kind of picture you have of your dog, this will work or pet. You can upload it here to this image to 3D model generator and download it as an STL or multicolored print as a 3MF file. And how you do that is come up here and click export. And it'll ask you to use two credits and you'll get some credits making a free maker world account so don't worry about that you will have some free credits to use to do this for free so go ahead and say confirm select what printer you have if you don't have a bamboo labs printer this is irrelevant if you do have a bamboo labs printer i would just select it it'll make it easier and your g code will be automatically when you click it when you click your stl or through my file it'll automatically pop up with your printer type but if you don't have a um, 
bamboo labs printer then don't worry about this not necessary just click whatever whatever nozzle size whatever doesn't matter 0.4 is fine and then hit confirm and then once this finishes loading it'll give us the option to download an stl file a 3mf file or a glb file the 3mf file has color the glb file also has color the stl file is just a normal geometry file with no color in it so once this loads we'll be able to download from those three options and print it out so here it is loaded up give us those three options to download I'm just going to show you guys the STL file because I do not have a multicolored printer yet. So we'll go ahead, click that, and then click download. And then we'll wait a second, but then we'll see up here it will download and we'll be able to open up that file and 3D print it. And here I'll show you guys into my slicer just to show you that it is a 3D printable file now ready to print on your printer. And here is that model loaded up into my printer look at how accurate that is it's crazy how good these AI image generators are nowadays that you can just give it a model of your pet like that and it can generate an image or a model sorry this well so there it is we can slice it up on my ender 3 v3 se that's a tongue full it'll take an hour and 20 minutes to make a pretty decent sized model of that dog and there's really not that many uh, need not th not that much need for supports under the paws a little bit right there a little bit but pretty much it should be a ready to print 3d model basically out the gate you probably could print it right now without even putting supports there that might just be a little funky until it finally catches and starts to print but that is basically it guys that's how you from start to finish can print a model of your pet this will work for anything whether it's a lizard whether it's a cat a dog a horse a sheep a snake anything you want this will do a good 3d model of whatever you give it a picture of and then you'll be able to print it off but that is it for this video guys thanks for watching hope you learned how to turn a picture of your pet into a 3d printable file and i hope you learned something new and if you like this video please like comment and subscribe because it really does help out smaller channels like mine and also if you like this video you can check out this video where i'll show you how to turn any logo into a 3d printable file so again guys thanks for watching and i'll catch you in the next one